This house is lovely. Isn't it, Tara? <laughs> of course. It's so wonderful. I love it. <laughs> it's a good thing you two love this place. So we're moving in together, yeah? What? No, that's not right. Why not? Because he got this place for you and it's a love nice kind of thingy. No, he got it for us. All three of us. Are you serious? And in case you haven't noticed, there are three bedrooms in this house. Wow. And for the love nest thingy you talked about, it can only happen in one room at a time. <laughs> and if we need the whole house to do it, <laughs> we can always use this place. It's not as if this place is a mistress hangout or something. Okay, okay, Sandra. But then, are you sure we won't be getting in the way? You? Of course not. Sandra, this guy is very, very ready. For you, I get the feeling you're having cold feet. Help me tell how. Besides, to tell you the truth, he has reported you to me. He actually did report you to me as well. Really? He should have reported to United Nations. Sandra, what's the matter with you? This guy is so in love with you and is ready to marry you like yesterday. What is wrong with you? I don't know. <sighs> eh? I don't know for her. But you get on trouble. Well, I love him too. Okay. But there are things involved that you girls will not understand. Well, why don't you make us understand? Um, better still, make him understand you. You know what? You're right. I think I'll confront him with it. That's better. better. Well, now you know. Anyway, let's wrap this house. <laughs> Which house are you rocking, Tara? I thought you just said that this is a love nest kind of thingy and you're not ready to be a disturbance. Eh, I said so now, but she convinced me. Uh. She convinced me otherwise and I'm convinced, so where's my bedroom? <laughs> mm, very typical of you, Tara. Anyways, you get to choose first only if you do the cooking. Hey, Shadi. Mm. Why do you always have to be such a killjoy? Oh, well, all right, now you sabi. Whatever. This is my room. Talk to the hand. Just go to the kitchen. Don't kill me. Ah. Ah. Is the package anyway. Big enough? Sure you can handle it? Piece of cake. Tomorrow night was agreed. I'm good to go already. Listen, let me just quickly put this away and then I'll come back and we can have a drink or two of the best whiskey on the rocks. You son of a devil. You know I can't turn that down. No, no. <laughs> and you better be hurried. It's okay. I'll be back in the jiffy. Mm -hmm. I better fit out of here in a moment.
Good morning, baby. Oh, I need to dash out real quick and get a couple of things ready for the trip. Yes, yes. Um, I have to travel to Brussels tonight, so I need to quickly dash out and get a couple of things ready for the flight. That's so out of the blues, and I thought nothing was going to come in between our weekend. Not school, not work, nothing. I know, I thought so too. Hmm? But you see, there's this deal that I've been working on and it finally, it finally fell through, so I need to quickly go and sign off on the deal and get the financials ready. I'm not the only one bidding. If I don't go now, I might as well kiss the deal goodbye. It's alright. It's okay. But hey, I'll make it up to you, okay? Hmm? What can I get you from over there? Um, yeah, whatever you get will be fine. <laughs> okay, I'll get you something really nice. Okay. Hmm? There's just one thing that I'm still not happy about. What? You haven't said yes to my proposal. What else will I do to convince you? Nothing, Patrick. Really nothing. And yet you hesitate. I know it's not another man. What's up? Really? Oh, so you had me checked out then? No, no I didn't. I just know. The signs aren't there. With you, what I see is what I get. And that's what drives me crazy about you. That's why I want you so badly. What about with you? Do I get what I see? Of course. You don't need to ask. You are enough for me. Oh, baby. Sandra, what's the matter? It's almost 2 a.m. I'm sorry I had to wake you up. Okay. I need help. What's the problem? Let Tara come first. Alright. I'm here already. What's the problem? Did somebody die? Tara, sit down. It's about Patrick. Did you catch him with another woman? Tara, will you just shut up and let her talk? Patrick will never cheat on me for anything in this world. I'm just confused. Confused about what? What's the problem? Patrick is a drug courier. <laughs> what? You mean had drugs? <laughs> Obviously. Tara, had drugs, not paracetamol. Plug head. Damn! Drug trafficking? No wonder he's spending money like it's about to expire. Sandra, how did you find out? Yeah. Did he confess it to you? Yesterday would be the second time I'll catch him. The first time I caught him, he was hurriedly traveling to Europe. I had gone to visit him and I hung my clothes in his wardrobe. That's the night before. Okay. And the next morning, I went to get my clothes from the wardrobe when he was having his bath. And I had thought it was cash. I wanted to confirm and caution him not to be going around with huge amounts of cash. That was why I bothered to open the briefcase. Lo and behold, it was hard drugs. You couldn't mistake them. They couldn't be cosmetic powder. You just know it was hard drugs. I closed the briefcase as I saw it. When he came out of the bathroom. So what would you get for me from Europe? Where exactly? Uh, I tried to carry on as if nothing went amiss. France first and then on to Netherlands. I guess I succeeded because he never suspected. I had my heart in my mouth whenever the phone rang when he was on that trip. But thank God he came back safe and sound. He bought me lots of gifts and we continued living our lives as if nothing happened. Until last night, he received a visitor in the dead of the night. You have nothing to worry about. She's out cold. 
knocked out. Okay? You know how we do it. You better know what you're doing. Hey, Jude, man. Chill. When I tell you everything's cool, everything's cool. How big is the package anyway? Big enough. Sure you can handle it? Now he's gone again. I know he loves me. And I like him too. In fact, I really love him. So, is that why you don't want to say yes to his marriage proposal? Knowing what I know, girl, come on. I'm your regular next door neighbor. What would you have me do? Have you tried having a talk with him? Hell no. I don't know how he's going to take that. I don't even know if my life is going to be at risk if I tell him. In fact, I don't know anything right now. Now, besides, you know that the drug business is a very secretive one. And he, in Sandra's narration, she said that um, that Jude friend of his mm -hmm. asked him if they were safe. Yeah. And he said she was out cold and they had nothing to worry about. Now, that means she's not supposed to have an idea of what is happening or be a part of it. Mm -hmm. Now, asking him is a no-no. You definitely cannot do that. So I should walk out of the relationship. Hello? Why would you do a stupid thing like that? Are you alright, Tara? Of course I'm fine. I've never been better. In fact, I'm in the best shape of my life right now. Mentally and physically. And you advise her to stay in that relationship? Not only should you stay in that relationship, make sure you accept his marriage proposal the moment he comes back. Marry the maga. This is a serious matter. <laughs> Who says I'm joking? I am dead serious. Okay now, let's check it out. This guy has acquired so much from this business, obviously. It means he's not new in the business. He has been in this business for a while now and he will never be caught. So what are you saying? And that makes it right. Right is relative, my friend. <sighs> anyway, that's an aside. Back to what I was saying. This man is not new in this business. He has been in it for a while and he will never be caught. That tells you that he's a man who knows his way around the business. A man who knows his onions. Listen dear, always pitch your tent with that kind of man. I would if I were you. I mean they hardly ever go wrong. Why are you looking at me like that? Like I'm out of this space. Come on ladies. This is called very realistic thinking. Maybe, but morally bankrupt. Mm, you think so? Yes. Okay, now let me ask you Sandra. Will morals put food on your table? Will morals give you the kind of life that man will give you the moment you say yes to him? Marry the maga. Don't listen to her. <laughs> Sandra, I believe that the day of reckoning is real. And when that day comes, it comes like a thief in the night. When you're so unprepared for it. <laughs> that day. Is this the best you can do? Some worn out Sunday school teaching. Come on, girl. When that day comes, it may be you are heavily pregnant. Perhaps you might be having a child or two. And who knows, you guys might be enjoying the lifestyle the drug wealth provides. And all of a sudden, boom, it explodes in your face. Tell me, girl, how then would you cope? Well, even if that happens, which I know it will never happen, at least you have enough stashed in banks all over the place to last you more than two lifetimes. Sandra, I know my advice might not be as enticing as Tara's, but if I were to be faced with the same situation, I would do the same thing. 
Of course, mine is what I would do if faced with that kind of situation. But as a matter of fact, let me tell you, if you as much as walk out of that guy's love and he sniffs my direction, <laughs> I will jump on him that we will be saying I do at the altar before you say Sandra. Sandra! Oh, please, please, don't tire me. What is it? That's exactly what I'm going to do. I have told you already. This guy is a don in this business and he will not. In short, he will never be caught. I will bet my last drop of blood on it. Mm. Let me tell you, Sandra. Jump on his train. Enjoy the ride. And leave Sunday school for Sunday school students. Please, I'm going back to sleep. Good night. Sandra, I'm sorry I might not be as forceful and persuasive as, as Tara is, but the truth is the day of reckoning will surely come. Think about it. Okay? Good night. That is what happened. And um, that is why you did this. But how was it my fault? It was your fault! You deceived me! I trusted you! You devil! Uh, it's okay, my daughter, please. It's okay. I know it's a, a very naughty one. With patience, we can... and. We will loosen that knot and smoothen the whole thing all over again. Just take it easy. Hmm? Now sit. Sit down. It will be over. Hmm. But you shouldn't have confronted him. That was the only thing I could think of. At least it's better than just folding our hands and waiting for death. I just hate to be the what would put a word between you and your beloved grandfather? I was really hoping something would come out of him. Especially when he told me to wait. I don't know what you expect of me at this time. Uh, but, but I must let you know that I've stopped attending council for quite some time now for age reasons. But you are aware of everything that goes on in there. That I cannot deny. But it does not translate to influence. Is that why you stopped me? I don't want you harboring thoughts that I'm deliberately not willing to do anything. Especially as I know how you feel towards him. Well, I'll try not to harbor such thoughts. But by the way, what kind of ancestors allow his very own to waste away like that? Hmm. What? Did he kill anyone? Grandpa, did he? Perhaps. That's the question we should be putting to the elders and the ancestors. If it had ended there, he would have been bearable. But it did not just end there. That's the most painful part of everything. He did not just and there. <laughs> yes. Oh, not again. Come on, Sandra, you're killing me. Why can't you just tell me what exactly I've done and I'll, I'll do everything within my power to reverse it, please? Look, Patrick, I'm sorry. I just can't. We just cannot be together. This doesn't make sense. Really, how can you have a problem with someone and not even be able to tell the person what the problem is? Look, I love you. I really do. But I just have to love myself more right now. I have to love myself more. Is this about your parents? Do they not like me? Do they disapprove of where I'm from? Just give me a chance to meet them. 
I can change their mind. Please. How can you be that foolish? Eh? Somebody that loves you that much. Papa, I know what I saw. Whatever you saw. The young man said he is sorry. Story ends. Can you imagine? He has even been begging you with a love proposal since. I could not accept because of the same reason I left the relationship. Do you think it is easy for me? He gives me comfort. He meets all my financial needs no matter the situation. And most of all, I know he loves me. But I just cannot marry him. I can't. Then tell us why. Sometimes there are things that are more important than money. I am the one in that relationship. I am the one who knows what I saw. All I just ask is that you please, Mama, Papa, please just trust me on this, please. Uh, and you can't say whatever it is that you saw? No, Papa, I can't. It's not about you. Can't you see? It's about all of us. What it will do for us. Do you like the way we're living? No, tell me. He is God sent to us through you. My daughter, whatever it is you saw will not harm you. The same God who has sent him to us as our helper will not allow that to happen. Please, please reconsider. For our sake, please. Sandra. It's going to be all right, please. <laughs> it's not just okay by me. <laughs> My parents were right. <laughs> I'm confused right now. I don't know what to say anymore. Honestly, I don't. <laughs> With the way the whole thing is going right now. Would you advise me to go back to him? <laughs> I wish I could. But the truth is, you need to decide what's best for you. I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. <laughs> Before you met Patrick, your parents got by, didn't they? <laughs> Yeah, I guess. <laughs> That's all I have to say. You need to think about it and decide on whatever it is you think is best for you. And whatever it is you decide on, I definitely will support you. It was such a simple question. Before you met him, your family got by, didn't they? But it hit hard. It hit so hard it decided for me. So much so that I decided to go remove all of my things still at his house. I took Shadi with me to prevent any eventuality. I also went at a time that I was sure that more often than not, he would not be in. I still had a specky. Let's move fast, okay? Me the kind of person he is, I'm so sure he must have told his gates to let him know he's not around. Okay, that's right. I think that's a good one. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Please, just give me a sec. I need to just pack my things and... I will be out of here in no time, okay? <laughs> I threw my pills to the pigs. I did not value what I had. If you continue seeing it like this, then you continue hurting yourself. 
But that is what it is. That is what it is. At this rate, you call back into his arms in no time. You know that, don't you? Perhaps that is what should happen. That is where I belong after all. No, that's not where you belong. Tara went back to your vomit, but that's her business. But you, you move forward because that's where you belong. hurts because you saw Patrick with Tara. You were moving on, remember? You went back there to remove all your things and drop off his spare key. You remember that? What hurts you really is the fact that you saw Tara with him. What Tara has done to you. Leave me. Leave me. But do you think it is possible to separate the two? My vomit and what Tara has done? Now, Tara goes back to your vomit. You now think it's delicious? Is that it? Tara chose what she believed in, and so did you. And what is that? What did I believe in? Okay. I don't even know anymore. I don't know. I'll tell you what you believed in, or what you believe in. Now, Tara believes that Patrick is a dawn and he will never be caught. Tara believes that the day of reckoning will never come, but you believe that it is real. Tara has no qualms, she has nothing to worry about, but you have a whole lot to worry about, my dear friend. Wait, are you saying that that is my undoing? All right then, if that's how you see it, no problem. If you can have a life with Patrick without having your heart in your mouth every second of the day, then no problem. Go back to him. Run back into his arms. No one is going to stop you because I'm definitely going to stop you. Edro, Edro, what is your own business in this whole thing? Is it by force to give someone advice? See your life now. Uh, uh, eh? uh, 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 uh. You are not being fair to your daughter. Mm -hmm. She told her the truth. That's how we raised her up. But her friend didn't like the truth. So? And she told her to go ahead and do as she pleased. She stuck to her truth. She's a very good friend till the end. Good friend indeed. So Look, where it has landed her now. Look, but she's not trade blames yet. What happened to your friend, Tara? Number two, since when did you start to hold Charlie responsible for all this? Sir. Time has really gone. We must get into the roots of this problem, right? Now, Sandra, do you think you want to shed light on my posers? No. We will not lift the case. We must reject all his monetary gifts. It is cast. Yes, we risk bringing cars to ourselves and even our children. Um, you have spoken well, Adele. But we must all use our tongue to count our teeth. Yes. How many of us? We still maintain this stance if he was our son. <laughs> How many? Yeah. See? Look at you. Are you the one saying this now? Hmm? Just because he has his palms with your customer. Look. And he should face the weight of the consequence that fully let it be on record that I, Ubuwe, stand solidly with Adele. I will touch hands.
Welcome to Fosby Luxury Hotel. At Fosby Luxury Hotel, we offer excellent service. Our rooms have all the necessary facilities to make your stay comfortable and memorable. You will also have access to internet service, breakfast, 24-hour power supply, poor air condition, free international calls, free time pumping service, and free car battery charge. So what are you waiting for? Quickly visit Fosby Luxury Hotel. We are located as number one at the Nirobar Mishile off Raja Rasaki Road, Fosby estate Amuo or the Fifesta League. For more information or reservation, please call us on 080-75-78-7135 or 080-99-90-0601. You can also take advantage of our online ongoing promo at www.forcevhotel.com to make your reservation and payment for your favorite room, which attracts a discount rate. Please note, rooms are reserved based on first come, first serve. Forcevhotel Hotel experience the home of comfort. They come, they come.